Marcus Howard of Marquette had an amazing year this year to cap off his college career as he boosted up his draft stock even more. But in today's video, we have some things you may not have known about Marcus Howard. These are 10 things the media doesn't tell you about Marcus Howard. To begin this video, let's showcase how much of an incredible score Marcus Howard is. To put this into perspective, he had three 50 plus point games in his four years of playing college ball at Marquette. He has also averaged over 21 points per game for his career, and in the senior season, he averaged 27.8 points per game. He's also the only D1 player to have multiple 50-point games in the last 20 years. His first 50-point performance came in his sophomore year as he dropped 52 points against Providence. His second one came against Creighton where he dropped 53 in his junior year, and his last one came against USC where he dropped 51 this last season. And he even had a season where he shot 54% from the three-point line. This dude's ability to put the ball in the basket is incredible. But let's talk a little bit more about Howard's 53-point game, his career-high game. Not only was this a career high of 53, a school record, but it was also a big East record for the most points in a game. Howard shot 15 for 26 from the field, and he went 10 for 14 on three-point shots in the Marquette 106 to 104 victory over Creighton. He was also the first player to ever reach the 50-point mark on Creighton. When this dude gets hot, he cannot miss. He made 10 threes this game. Growing up, Marcus Howard's older brothers were into basketball, and Marcus says that this is what influenced his love for the game of basketball. He said, growing up, I'd always see them playing basketball, and they were kind of the first ones to give me the ball and put the ball in my hands. This is something that I've loved from the very beginning. And speaking of his brothers, let's look at his older brother, Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard also played college ball, and he was a great scorer himself. He is a 5'11 guard, just like his brother Marcus, but he is two years older. He averaged 20.4 points per game at Cincinnati for his career and averaged 25.1 points per game in his senior year there, but both he and Marcus were top 15 in scoring back in the 2017 to 2018 season. Two brothers, two years apart, are in the top 15 for scoring. Of course, Jordan the senior at Cincinnati averaged 25 a game and Marcus the sophomore at Marquette averaged nearly 23 a game. Marcus was 12th in scoring and Jordan was 5th. In his four years at Marquette, Marcus Howard has solidified himself as a college basketball legend. He has broke many records at Marquette, including most points in a game, most points in a career, and many more other records, but he is also top 25 on the college basketball all-time scoring list, which nowadays is rare to see with most great players going one and done. He's not only one of the best Marquette players of all time, if not the best, but he's also a top college basketball player ever as well. Marcus Howard has a very strong love for basketball. He says he always keeps the basketball with him everywhere he goes. Even back in high school, he would walk around the school with a basketball on him and he would always have it with him in class. It even got to the point where he would dribble his basketball in the classroom and his teachers would have to take it away from him. But speaking of high school, let's take a look at Marcus Howard's high school basketball career. Coming out of high school at Finlay Prep, Marcus Howard was a four-star recruit and a top 70 player in the nation. He was ranked as the 14th best point guard in the class of 2016 and the second best player in the state of Arizona. He would begin his high school basketball career at Perry High School where he averaged 23 points per game as a freshman. In his sophomore year there, he went on to average 32.4 points per game. Before his junior year, he would then transfer to Finlay Prep. He would lead the team in scoring and then committed to Marquette. Marcus has a very special relationship with an in-conference opponent, Miles Powell. Powell is a 6'2 point guard for Seton Hall. The friendship that these two have goes deeper than basketball, and every time they talk to each other, it isn't always just about basketball, it's about life as a whole. These two are great friends and they came into college the exact same year, and they also left the same year as well. They built their friendship from the time that they met during a summer basketball travel circuit. As before then, they were on opposite sides of the country as Powell was from New Jersey. But both of these players right here are great and were some of the best players in college basketball this year as they both made it onto the AP All-American first team and were both potential player of the year candidates. Marcus also has some athletic genes in his family. His dad Chuck Howard played football and was a running back. He grew up in Indianapolis and in the 1980s he was actually a running back for the Indiana Hoysiers. 
He was a quick halfback who also returned kickoffs. He played there from 1981 to 1986 but never was able to reach his full potential as he battled with injuries and only put up 166 yards and one touchdown. Marcus said he wanted to play football because his dad did, but he didn't have any passion for that sport. We talked about all the records he broke from Marquette, but arguably his biggest record is this one the all-time leading scorer in the Big East Conference. The previous leader was Troy Bell with 2,632 points, who had been the leader since 2003. But on February 12, 2020, a new scoring leader for the conference came along, that being Marcus Howard. He now holds down the number one spot with 2,761 career points. But anyway, there's the video. Those were 10 things the media doesn't tell you about Marcus Howard. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for more great and related content just like this. But that is all I have for you today. I am out. Peace.